No mascara required. We're going to be checking out some natural beauty with this eyelash gecko a little later in the show. Go. Bri Lois is back with us again today from the Indian River Reptile Zoo. So, Bri, what have we got here? What we have here is a eyelash gecko, or some people call them a crested gecko. Can I can I handle him as you well? You sure can. He's quite fast. Eyelash gecko? Yeah. So. And this species is found from in New Caledonia. They thought they were extinct for many many years, and they just found them again in 1994. That's incredible. So it actually has eyelashes, not functioning eyelashes, I don't know. Not imagine. like our functioning eyelids, eyelashes, but he does have eyelashes if you look really close. Wow, and you said that this little guy, people thought it was extinct. They thought it was extinct for many, many years, and they just found them in 1994. Great. So what kind of special features does he have? Does he have any special defenses? Or? Well, he doesn't have eyelids, so he uses his, his uh, tongue like uh, windshield wipers to clean his eyes because he can't blink like we can. And he has a really special defense. They can jump almost a meter to get away, and they're very, very fast. He can also climb walls when he goes on you. What he has is hundreds and millions of little tiny hooks. Oh, yeah, those famous gecko them. feet. Yeah. 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 So he can stick to just about anything. That's great. And what does he eat? They eat uh, sometimes fallen fruits, but mostly insects. I see. Yeah. Very cool. So moving right along, what else do you have for us today? This here is an eyelash viper. And no relation to the eyelash gecko? No, actually they come from a totally different place. This comes from Costa Rica. And they're very interesting. They come in numerous colors. They can come in bright yellow. They can come all green. They can come red. All different types of colors. But he is similar because you can look very close at his eyes. He has eyelashes similar, <laughs> similar to the crested or eyelash gecko that we just had out. But we should point out to people watching, there's a little red line back here. Yeah. What does that signify? Well, that signifies you have to stay to that side just to be safe. It is venomous. Jay and I are not allowed to cross this little imaginary red line. Because so no. he's dangerously venomous? Um, they, ha they have killed people in the past. Now, they don't intentionally bite people, but that is their defense. They are they either camouflage or they're very Especially cryptic. people in pink striped it's shirts. It's staring at you. <laughs> it's giving you the stink eye. So what no. would happen then if we were actually bitten by one of these guys? No. Well, we're not going to get bitten by, but if you were, we'll the, first, the first thing you have to do is get to the hospital as fast <laughs> as possible, and then... If, if, it, if, it's not a, if it does not envenomate you with venom, then you have to be administered antiserum as soon as possible. And you happen to have some antiserum We here? happen to have some right over there with Paige. Oh, good. Good fortune, Paige. You stay on standby there. Good work, Paige. But we're not going to need Be on the balls of your feet ready to move <laughs> in any minute. <laughs> so wh wh what are the eyelashes for? Um, I'm not sure. To be honest, I don't really know, and I'm not sure if anyone does. Uh, some animals that have uh, protrusions there, like eyelashes that live in the sand, is to keep the sand out of their right. eyes. I'm not sure why this one. But it, is it a tree dweller or a ground? This dweller? is a boreal. It does yeah. live in trees in the rainforest. And eats. Yes. It eats usually lizards when it's uh, juvenile or smaller, and as it grows, it gets into mammals. And the particular markings are those just to sort of notify. The brighter colors, if it were yellow, would be a warning signal as some animals are bright colors to warn other animals off. And Great. Predators. Well, it's moving toward us now, so why don't we take a look at another snake? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so Bri's got a bit of a sense of humor. We, got, we uh, abandoned one venomous snake, but he's brought in another one. And what's this guy? This is uh, a sidewinder rattlesnake. They come from Arizona and California. Okay, and, and is right it called a sidewinder because of the way it moves? Or? Yeah, you can sort of see he's starting to do that you, with that you coil. You'll see he'll probably move in a few minutes, so you can see how he does that. And the reason they do that sidewinding motion is because sometimes they're on really hot sand or hot earth, and then only a few, a few points of the body touch the ground at one time. Now this so is the snake right. doesn't get too hot. This is a fairly little snake as well. So how, how big do these grow to? This, this is about an adult. This is an adult size. Now, all reptiles grow throughout their whole lives, but this is about average size for these guys. Okay, and what does he eat? What does he eat when, they're when their juveniles are young? Oh, they eat <laughs> mostly lizards. They don't eat people. No. Um, and then they eat rodents after that, usually. And so when is, the, there, is there venom used to, to immobilize prey or, or that's kill exactly, them? That's what yeah? it's for. It's not yeah. for defense. Yeah, yeah. So th what they do for defense is they hide in the sand or... Th and it looks like he's got a little away. rattle right there, yeah, too, Yeah, and huh? that's also for defense. That's a warning. Now, he's not too frightened right now. That's why he's not rattling. You can hear a bit. There's a nice little sidewind there. Yeah. There Look at that. That's neat. Beautiful. Oh, thank you so much for bringing these absolutely amazing creatures today, Bri. Bri Lois, she's with the Indian River Reptile Zoo near Peterborough, Ontario. He's cool.